Former NFL quarterback Chase Daniel has stirred up conversation with a bold trade proposal that could drastically alter the quarterback landscape for three NFL teams. The Miami Dolphins, Los Angeles Rams, and Carolina Panthers. With the Dolphins facing uncertainty at quarterback due to Tua Tungavailoa's ongoing concussion issues, Daniel believes the team should consider a blockbuster trade to secure a more stable and experienced option. The proposed trade would involve sending the Rams Super Bowl winning quarterback, Matthew Stafford, to the Dolphins, while the Carolina Panthers second-year quarterback, Bryce Young, would be shipped to the Rams. In return, the Panthers would receive compensation in the form of draft picks and other assets. The trade would not only give the Dolphins a proven veteran to fill in for Tungavailoa but also provide the Rams with a young, potentially franchise-altering quarterback in Bryce Young, all while freeing up significant cap space for the Rams, who are burdened by Stafford's contract, which runs through 2026. The idea comes at a time when Miami is facing questions about Tungavailoa's future. Despite Tungavailoa's assurances that he has no plans to retire after his latest concussion, his injury history is becoming a growing concern. The Dolphins have already ruled him out for at least four games, leading to speculation about the team's long-term plans at the position. Some analysts have suggested that the Dolphins explore outside options, with names like Bryce Young and even retired legend Tom Brady being tossed into the mix. Chase Daniels' proposed three-team trade takes this idea to another level, advocating for the Dolphins to aggressively pursue Stafford, a proven winner with the experience and skill set to step in immediately. For the Rams, the deal would provide them with a chance to move on from the 36-year-old Stafford, who, while still one of the league's top quarterbacks, is in the latter stages of his career. The cap space relief that would come with parting ways with Stafford could also give the Rams more flexibility to rebuild their roster around younger talent. The Panthers, on the other hand, would be betting on the long-term success of their rebuild by parting ways with Bryce Young, the top pick in the 2023 NFL Draft. In exchange, they would receive assets that could accelerate their rebuilding efforts, though the prospect of giving up on a young quarterback so early in his career would be a tough decision. Despite the intrigue of Daniel's suggestion, the trade is considered far-fetched by many experts. For one, the Dolphins appear committed to letting backup quarterback Skylar Thompson take the reins in Tungavailoa's absence. Dolphins head coach Mike McDaniel has expressed confidence in Thompson, who has earned the trust of the coaching staff and players. Additionally, the Dolphins have not shown any serious interest in making a major quarterback acquisition and seem inclined to wait for Tungavailoa's return. As for the Rams, it seems unlikely that they would be willing to part with Stafford, a seasoned veteran with a proven track record, in exchange for a young quarterback like Bryce Young, who has yet to prove himself at the professional level. The Rams would also be taking a significant risk by downgrading from a Super Bowl-winning quarterback to an unproven second-year player. In the end, while the hypothetical trade generates buzz, the reality is that the Dolphins are likely to move forward with their current roster. With Skylar Thompson and possibly other backup options like Tyler Huntley, Miami is expected to weather the storm while Tunga Vailoa recovers. Despite the intriguing nature of Daniel's proposal, it's unlikely that any new quarterbacks, aside from those already on the roster, will be taking snaps for the Dolphins in the near future. For now, Dolphins fans will have to wait and see if Tunga Vailoa's health improves, as the team looks to remain competitive in his absence.